we we're gonna watch the trailer for I Promise You the Moon, also known as I Told Sunset About You Part 2. I actually did like a review video on I Told Sunset About You. That video was super cringe, but I'll link it in the description anyway. One of the things I talked about is the importance of color in this drama and how blue represents Bukin slash the character Day and red represents PP and the character OL. With I Told Sunset About You poster, it's kind of warm colored, warm toned and then in I Promise Do the Moon poster it's like blue tinted blue tone it also matches the title right because one is sunset one is moon which is kind of blue like one's in a blue moon wait that that's not relevant the thumbnail for the trailer <laughs> it's PP or I mean like OL helping they like shower wash his hair most likely with a coconut scented shampoo Man, <laughs> ooh, this will be juicy. Usually I don't react to trailers because it goes by really fast, so it's hard to comment in between. And also I don't like to pause, I don't like to watch in slow-mo, so I, I need to like pick out everything now. With this drama, I need to be extra analytical because there's so many hidden meanings to catch on. <gasps> okay, this is like a class this is almost like a research paper, but except with a trailer version. Okay. ตั้งใจทําไม่ดีสุดท้ายแล้วไม่มีการพูดไม่ใช่เพื่อนแต่ว่าเป็นแฟนป่ะคะพรุ่งนี้เป็นฟังแต่ทั้งสองคนนะ <laughs> Even with the trailer itself, it's kind of warm tinted. I will say more in the end, but... What is this? Don't tell me he likes all L. <laughs> Uh, I like how they is still wearing the same shirt and I always wondered who wrote this because it doesn't look like a font it looks we're not the same okay that yeah who wrote that because it doesn't look like a font so I think it would be really meaningful if it was Bukin or Bibi who wrote the title of the series uh, okay, so you can watch it every Thursday starting May 27th on 9TV. The seven sponsors, one of them is KFC. The Face Shop is one of them. Oh, uh, but yeah, I don't know for intern- wait, there's- Okay, I'm like hoping that they're- okay, so they suggested the Safe Zone music video and then also you can subscribe to Nadao channel which I am subscribed because I need to know when they post the OST and the trailers and clips uh 
you can watch this online TV for international fans. I don't know. I tried clicking the link, but it says it's not available in my region and I'm sure it's not really available in a lot of regions. So I hope that there is international links. That was my first time watching the trailer, but for sure I will re-watch it in regular speed, but I will keep pausing to find and to look at all the details, there's a lot of new characters being introduced who act as obstacles in Day and OL's relationship. But in a way, it's like a challenge for them because they'll realize that they actually lo love, ooh, well, L O V E, love each other. Part one and part two seem to be two different vibes. In terms of visuals, visuals yeah oh but like i said they got more sponsors they went from four sponsor to seven sponsor which i'm happy for them because i assume that more sponsor equals more budget but that means more product placement i remember when i first watched i told some stuff about you i didn't know that honda was one of the sponsors until i watched the ending credit because there was one scene when boss and ol was just sitting in the car and then there was a wide shot of them sitting in a Honda car. But at first when I saw it, I just thought that, oh, maybe Honda cars are pretty common in that area, but apparently it's sponsored. So my point is, I think Nadal's uh, sponsors are really natural, or at least with this drama. I would try to react to I Promise You The Moon. There might be some copyright issues, but it's fine. <laughs> I'll figure that out. Uh, I will see you guys in another vid.